Good morning. How many of you can remember an instance when you thought things were set, that you were standing firm, that nothing could go wrong? We probably all remember ball games where one team was up by 30 or 40 points going into the half, and then they ended up somehow losing that game. Something that was almost a sure thing, and they lost the game. How about when we try and get rid of a problem in our life and we work at it and we work at it and we think it's gone and then all of a sudden, boom, it's there again. Well, you know, Kitty and I got tired of paying our, our cable bill, so we turned cable TV off, went to just an antenna, played around with different antennas and have an antenna now, thanks to Brent Donegan, that, that I think does just a great job. We never get pixels on anything, but one of the things about having an antenna is you get, to, you get the ability to watch a lot of these old TV shows, Father Knows Best, Leave It to Beaver, you know, and lately I've seen some shows with, that are the Three Stooges, I can't watch them long, Three Stooges, Abbott and Costello, and, and you know, one of the things in there is when people get up and are performing on the stage, and they're doing a horrible job, this big hook comes out like a shepherd's staff, comes out and the hook grabs them around the neck and they just pull them off the stage. I've always thought, you know, with, with temptation, wouldn't it be great anytime we get close to something that we shouldn't be doing or something, if there was this hook that would come out, grab us by the neck and pull us away from that temptation. This morning, I want to uh, read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, beginning in around verse 12. Verse 12 says, So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But with, but when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. Let's look for that way out. Be safe. Stay well out there.